Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I first of all want to thank you for stopping by and um, happy Black Friday to you. And this is the end of the day. I am just relaxing at home and I couldn't think of anything better and I was really excited to show some of the really good finds that I found for Black Friday. And so as you can see, over my shoulder there, I have my Christmas tree up. I don't have any of the bulbs and things like that up, but I'm actually going to do another video that will be coming up shortly, and it is going to be called my holiday house, and I'm going to be taking you around the house and showing you some of my holiday things. And over this shoulder here, over there, there are some little nutcrackers, so I'll be showing those to you as well. Um, like I said, it's the end of the day, and I just wanted to show you some of the things that I found. So, without further ado, I'm just going to start out. I went several different places. One of the places that I went today was actually the Dollar Tree, and I found these amazing fuzzy socks. And they are 99% um, uh, polyester and 1% spandex. Um, they are just the most wonderful warm things and they have these little like the anti-skid little bumps for walking around the house and I love to put these on with some moisturizer before bed so I picked up a couple of these that I'm going to be giving away as gifts but this pair is for me so um, I was very happy and I was surprised that the dollar hat tree had several different spa like products um, sleep mask and things like that. So if you're looking for some wonderful gifts for a secret Santa or um, a girlfriend gift exchange, check out the Dollar Tree because you'll be pleasantly surprised. I definitely was. Another thing that I picked up, and these are just some um, random drugstore things, and um, I picked up this um, emery board with like the multiple sides on it, and mine was getting old, so it has several different degrees on it, and it's numbered one, two, three, four, um, I think all the way to six, actually. And it just kind of shows you what to do um, to get good nails um, and, uh, and get a good file and shape is what I'm trying to say. So that I, I needed one of those. I also picked up a couple of... Um, mascaras that I've been wanting to try. Um, this one is the Maybelline Falsies Flared, and I've been hearing a lot about that from my friends and fellow YouTubers here, and so I'm going to be doing a review on that one. This one I've had and actually repurchased, and that is the Volume Express 1x1 One by, One by Maybelline. And I can't say enough about this formulation. Um, it is a very good formulation, and I'm, I'm looking forward to uh, doing a updated review. So I will keep you posted on those. Another place that I went to was Sephora. And this was actually a couple days before I went to their Sephora for their benefit. Um, the bene benefit benefit. And um, I didn't get anything from Benefit, but I did get several things from Sephora. So um, I got this um, NYX Falsies uh, Faux Lashes Mascara. It's from the Boudoir Collection. So I will put that in my mascara review, so watch for that. I also got this really beautiful wand of Sephora polishes. And get a little closer so you can see them. They are so pretty, and I love this one. I'm hoping that the Sephora brand, actually I could answer that on camera, I'm actually hoping that the Sephora brand doesn't smell as bad um, as the, um, the e.l.f. brand. I was really disappointed. I, I actually ordered several little e.l.f. brands, which I will absolutely use, but um, I was so disappointed because the smell was just, it was almost astronomical, very unpleasant and, and very chemically. So I will do my nails with it, but I will do my nails prior to any event or whatever because it, it smells like a nail salon and not in a good way. Okay, I can't get this buddy open, so I'm just going to leave that to the side. But there is 
a really pretty gold let me flip it there we go a really pretty gold shimmer and it's almost like a like a rose gold type product then there is a really pretty pink and this pink is like a um it kind of reminds me of um opi's eight berries and a canary that's kind of a berry color. There is this really beautiful, chunky monkey gold color. I love it. And then there is this ox blood color, which is the absolute color of the season right now. So I'm at, I'm going to paint my nails with that and um, look for a post of that because I'll be posting a picture of that as well. Um, this is another product that I got while I was at Sephora. And I'm going to show it to you, but I'll also show you some of what they look like on the inside. And that is this little um, 2012 collection from the Luminous Cream Lipstick Collection by Bite Beauty. And this is the first time I've ever heard of these. But I actually, when I got home, I went on to YouTube, of all places, and there have been several of these throughout the years. They are actually a really good size sample product that comes in a little tin like this and it's pretty um pretty substantial um supply there are cover this up there without spilling them out if i can okay there's five of them in total and they range in shades from a nude to a deeper color and I'll kind of hold that up real close. There's a nude color and it goes all the way to a really deep bright red. This one is called Musk and it's a really pretty um, pinky color. And for how for how small the product is, you actually get a really nice sample size. You, by the time that you get done using these, you'll know if this is a product that you would like to buy the um, full size from. And I'm actually not even sure that this company creates a full size. So if you know, just leave a comment down in the bottom. But I'm very pleased with the size of them. I'm someone that loses interest in products really fast. So sample sizes work for me because I can kind of move quickly through a product. Um, the, if I like it or I don't like it, I can still use it up um, before I move on to something new. This is the ruby red one, and is that not fantastic? And I was kind of a little bit scared about this one at first, but check that out. I mean, it is straight up ruby red. It is just beautiful. It's, um, it's completely matte which I like about that, and um, so I think that's going to be a really beautiful product for Christmas. The other one I didn't swatch, and this one, again, was called Musk, but I will swatch it for you now. I have really deep skin, so sometimes it doesn't even show up. It's right there, and you can see it, but not very well with my camera. So I kind of tend to skip swatches, especially when I'm using the webcam. I'm hoping that Santa will be kind and I'll get a better camera quality. But until then, we'll just kind of make do. Um, this one is called Shiraz, I think. It's um, S-H-I-R-A-Z, Shiraz, Shiraz. And it is a little bit deeper. This is a mauve rose color. And you can, yeah, you can see that one on camera. It is right there. And it's beautiful. I'm really happy with these. And again, there's five of them in the bucket. So you really can't go wrong with that. The other two are, um, this is called Ristina. And it is a completely nude lip gloss, so I will not swatch it. Um, it is completely matte, no shimmer. And I really like it. I've actually worn this out and gotten several compliments about this one. And the other one is called Fig, and it is a beautiful color. Um, it's a beautiful color. It's pink. It's very pinky. I will swatch it for you and see if it comes up for you. It is right there at the bottom. It's a real pretty, um, it's, it's a plummy, plummy fig 
color. So I'm just absolutely in love with them. Um, and they, again, come in this little tin. And the tin has a mirror on it, so it's really good for traveling. And I was reading at the, um, about it. It has this little um, pamphlet thing or little insert that comes on it. And it says um, three milligrams of antioxidant um, organic fruit butters. And it fights free radicals and nourishes your lips with every use. And I'll show you what that looks like. It's this little paper there, and that's what it says on it. And, oh, there you go. That was a little blooper for you. So um, completely spilled out over my camera, but that's okay. You know what? We're all friends and family here, so we'll just keep rolling along with that. Um, another thing that I purchased, and these are um, Avon products, and I've got these quite a while ago and actually haven't reached for them until now because I had such a really great deal that I purchased quite a few of them, and now I'm reaching for them now that the holidays are getting here because they are richer, warmer colors, and I'm looking forward to wearing them. And these are the Avon Glazewear um, lip glosses, and they come in three different intensities. Um, one is called Glazewear Intense, and the color that I got is called Ground Sugar. It's a really deep, mauvey color. The other one is called Glazewear Sparkle, and this is in the color Rave. I love this one, and I think I've done a couple of reviews on this, so you can go back into my videos. It's been in at least one of my favorites videos, and it's really pretty. And this one is called Glaze Wear Shine, and this is in the color Tickled Pink, and it is this amazing rose color. And I was just thinking to myself that this would look really pretty over the fig. So I'm actually going to do a, um, a, a video tutorial, and I'll use those in it. And the last thing that I picked up, and this is uh, something that I picked up at Walmart, and that is these... Um, I think they call them scented wax cubes, uh, but I got some from Better Homes and Gardens, and I also got some from Sensational Company, and I don't know if they're the same company, but Better Homes and Gardens, I got this one called Tranquil Garden Spa, and it smells so good. It kind of smells like a natural, like an oceany water smell, and it's this beautiful light blue color. So I am going to enjoy that. That's just beautiful. The one that I got that's kind of a little bit holiday themed is this one called Creamy Spiced Eggnog. And I actually have that one burning. It's off camera, but it's burning in my uh, sensational burner right now. And this one, I don't really get the eggnog uh, smell. Because um, eggnog to me smells like creamy and milky. This one actually reminds me a lot of the um, pumpkin spiced latte. It's got those same flavor notes in it. So and, uh, it's spicy, it's creamy, um, and it reminds me of that pumpkin spiced latte. It's a real sweet uh, cinnamony smell, but the house smells wonderful, so I like it. And um, the next one that I got was actually, this one is from the Sensationals line, Citrus Cilantro. And this one is just this fresh, um, florally, it's definitely floral. It's got like lemon, uh, it says a drop of sunshine and a dash of green, and that is just the perfect description of this. Um, they're real light green in color. It's limey and orange, and um, I think that this one is going to be a really good springtime one for me, so I'm going to be saving it until then, until springtime, um, or after the holidays, and sometimes even during the holidays, I get tired of the apple and the cranberry, and so sometimes I actually like to just throw a citrusy, you know, open the house up and air it out a little bit. You know, here in Florida, it's it's not cold. And um, so um, if you have the house closed up and it's so super sweet, it can almost be suffocating. So um, sometimes I do enjoy the citrus scents. And until next time, thank you so much for watching my video. I had a wonderful time shopping, and I will keep you posted on all of my holiday goods. And until then, if you will leave a video response, uh, please do. And I'll be enjoying watching those. Bye-bye.